No, 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 don't decouple. No, Jesus. Not for the love of God. No, don't decouple. Oh, oh my days. Ah, good day to you. Hey everyone, welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. And as you can see, we are in our brand new Scania, which we customised and configured in our last episode. But, as you might not know, or you probably do know, if you're an ETS fan, the Special Transport DLC dropped, which was only £3.99. So we're going to be cheeky. What am I... I think I may have just took out a sign. I think I might be stuck. We're off to a fantastic start here. I can't even go back. Oh my days, what have I done? Two seconds. Does this work? I hope it works. There we go. Bit of an bit of an issue. I like how all the traffic starts to spawn when that's the way I actually want to go. I need to do a little cheeky U-turn here. We're we're off to a flying start here. Right, don't go. You're not allowed to go. This is so professional. See, look at that maneuverability with the tag lift. Just able to swing round. So we're about to take a special transport, which is a DLC I've been really looking forward to. And we're going to hope that our Scania is up to the task. Now I am using the simple automatic, well the real automatic gearbox as well. Freight market, let's look at it then. Giant silo or boiler part. I think we're going to go for the giant silo. 40 tons from Dresden to Rocklaw on this big massive trailer. Hmm, is our truck going to be up to the task? I hope so. Trucks, tanks were refilled and driving hours restored. Here we go then. Look at this. I like how it says on the side, giant silo. Yeah. That's pretty damn impressive. A lot of people in high-vis vests making sure that everything is going to plan. Because that's what you want. So, having never actually done a single special transport job already, this is my first one, so this is my first first sort of look at things. So let's have a look. You're about to haul a special transport cargo. There are two escort vehicles which will lead you. Please be careful and follow their lead and suggestions in the route advisor. Special transports like this don't stop on a red signal and have right of way in most situations. During these deliveries checkpoints are made more often to save your current progress. Avoid any possible conflict with the escort vehicles and keep the cargo between them. Do not drive out the other mist Estimated route. Obey speed limitations. Watch out for the overtaking traffic. Change lane manoeuvre. If you do not follow these rules, your special transport mission may fail. The manoeuvre is started by the rear escort vehicle. Oh, rear escort by changing and blocking the designate lane. The front escort awaits until the designated lane. Designated lane. Jesus, my English. I can't even talk English properly, let alone read it, Jesus. And it's safe for a player to move into the designated lane, so I need to wait for the guy behind. Okay. This is starting in third gear. Now, we don't have any beacons, but we do have lights. Let's have a look at it anyway. Wow, this thing is massive. That's pretty damn big. We don't have any beacons on this truck. But the gearbox is coping well, as you would expect. 
little bit of wheel slip there. Now we're going to be hanging a left here. How do I turn on my wipers again? I actually can't remember how you turn on your wipers again. So here we go then. I couldn't actually remember. I'm going to try and take this as wide as possible. Am I hitting that fence? Oh! Silo's hitting off the fence. I forgot it's a rear wheel steering trailer. Never ever driven anything like this in real life before. So I'll, tr I'll start a slow turn that way and then we'll try and swing out. It's hitting it again. Come on, baby. Nah, it's just gonna keep... Two hours later. I'll start turning now. Having never driven anything like this, it's hard to gauge how it's gonna react. I think we're good. I think we're finally on the road. Are we going to clip any of these cars? Wowzers! Speed limit of 31. We are underway, finally. <laughs> so a little bit of a, an issue getting going, but we're on the road now. Speed limit of 37. Now the gearbox is in automatic. Let's see how it reacts on its own. If not, I will switch to manual. I was just curious to see how the game would handle automatic gears with something like this. And we are going now. So yeah, not the smoothest of starts, which was a bit of a nightmare. Completely forgetting it's a rear wheel steering trailer. And just trying to swing out, things didn't go to plan. Getting stuck up in the wall. Speed limit is 37. Just trying to maintain that speed. Let's put on our lights then. You can also add LED beacons now, which is something I think I might do. I'm trying to not hit the silo on the side of that. The railings. wet conditions which are obviously not the greatest for transporting something like this and we've even got some thunder and lightning switch my wipers on a little bit more just to give us some better visibility I'm gonna slow down a little bit for this corner whoa baby whoa baby And we're turning right here. So we're going to go sort of in the middle of the road. And we're going to start a slightly soft turn. And then we're going to swing at the last second. There we go. Nothing hit. That's the better way to take a corner. Whoa, what is the special transport lorry doing? Oh my god, he's making the AI. Making the AI slam on his brakes there. Man, you crazy. You're out of control. I'll just use a bit of retarder here. Now that I can remember what the button is. Special. Not even a special transport. The escort vehicle is braking. And we're going to be turning left here. Front escort. Is going to warn other drivers adapt your speed to avoid a possible crash. Thank you, officer, you're doing a fantastic job. So, like again, same thing again, we'll start a slow turn and then swing at the last second, trying to keep the tractor unit out nice and wide. 
to give that trailer unit as much room as possible to swing in to knock off that indicator automatic gearbox changing down itself now obviously the rear whoa, automatic box is really struggling here it's gone into C1 whoa stop Try to get her going, she's stuck. She's sliding back down the hill. Let's have a look. We're not getting the traction here. She's just spinning. No, 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 don't decouple. No, Jesus. Not for the love of God. No, don't decouple. Oh, oh my days. Oh my days. Oh my days, what have we actually just done? Let's... <laughs> and we're not even lined up properly. Oh my god, this is going from bad to worse. Swing, swing, turn, turn, turn. There we go. Let's go back slowly at that. There we go. Right, she's in C1. I'm gonna turn the wipers off. Back to one. Right, how are we gonna get this baby going from here? She's not gonna go. Come on, come on, baby. Right, two seconds. I'm gonna switch it back to manual. Mute the microphone there so you don't hear me sneezing. Right, what we're gonna do. As you can see, we're in a bit of a pickle, but we only have one drive axle on this trailer, which, going uphill, it wasn't too much of an issue. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I don't know that that's engaged. Right, now it's engaged. Let me go back down to C2. I'm trying to put torque through the gearbox to get it going. Nah. She just does not want to go. So maybe this single drive axle isn't going to work with this trailer. Hey guys, welcome back. So here we are. We're back again. Now instead of having one powered axle in our brand new Scania, we now have two. The tag lift is gone. We couldn't take the same job because I had to cancel it and then reconfigure the truck. So we're back taking something from the same place. We're going from Dresden to Rocklaw again, but we have an even bigger overhang on each side on the trailer which you can see there. Once again, I didn't put any beacons on it yet, but we're going to get underway using the manual option ourselves. So this time we're going to hang over to the left and we'll take a soft turn, then we'll swing to the right. Obviously we don't want to clip the silo on anything straight away. See what a little bit of practice does for you? Let's not take the side of that truck out with moving over as as literally as much as I could there. We'll change them just a little bit. Just as we power up the hill. I don't want to wipe out trucks with the side. I changed down to 7th gear. 7th gear is getting us up the hill. So yeah, obviously with this one you have to be mindful of the massive overhangs on each side. So we're off to a much better start than the last... Than the <laughs> I was waiting to say the last episode than the last journey. But yeah, I went to the truck configurator 
and we now have a 6x4. 6x4? Am I even saying that right? But we now have two powered axles. Oh yeah, speed limit's 37. I almost forgot. Let's try and keep our pace consistent then. Not getting too close to the barrier at the side of the road, giving ourselves as much room as we really need. And, and we're doing it at night. Which makes visibility to the side a little bit more challenging. See, this is the fun of recording things when you try things out for the first time. Special things can happen. Now, because there's no traffic up ahead and it's quite quiet, I'm just going to sit out and take all the room in the world and I'm getting a bit close to the escort vehicle. Now we are going to be taking the same right turn again. Change down the gears. Same again. Bit of a soft right and then we swing at the last second. Gearbox just transforming all that torque into massive pulling power. And the V8 sounds beautiful. Let's take a quick look from the outside. Actually, no, we won't. There's a truck coming. And I don't want to wipe it out. But we are approaching the same slip road that gave us the massive grief last time. Watching that side so cautiously. I don't want to wipe out road signs or anything like that. Front escort is going to warn. Yes, yes, that's fine. I think I'm going to change down for to fourth for this one. As we perform our turn. There we go, much better. We are powering up the hill. I don't think I'm going to have to change down. I think I'm going to be okay. I'm on the flat now and we also have please wait for the rear escort vehicle okay I'll change down at the second gear is he back there here he comes I see him in the mirror hello there sir come on then catch up second gear pull away then changing into fourth and let's go straight for sixth Changing lane manoeuvre is coming. Adapt your speed to avoid a possible crash. Here we go then. Changing up a gear. 37 is still our speed. We are, however, in the middle lane now. Now, as our escort vehicle is just dabbing the brakes a little bit there, I'm just going to back off the throttle. What's happened there? Oh, truck. A little pickup. Front escort is going to warn other drivers. Adapt your speed to avoid a possible crash. Okay. So is he going to stop this lorry? He is, yeah. Okay. So am I now pulling back in behind? I'm going to change them just for this little hill. Okay, so, yeah. I'm really, really enjoying this, I must admit. The sun's also starting to uh, approach us as well. But he's breaking, why is he breaking? I need him to carry on. Or have I to follow him? Why is he stopped? Why is he stopped? He put the handbrake on for a second. Why is he stopped? <laughs> like the escort vehicle's behind me, so I'm not doing anything wrong on that side of things, but we're not turning right. We're not going right. 
And now there's a car stuck between me and an escort vehicle. Let me try and scooch over this way. So what do we do now then? Like, that's twice he stopped here and my silo is completely blocking the road. Abandon. I'm abandoning the job and we're gonna go and get another one. Oh, the media's there. Yes, yes, it's a big and massive important project, this. Our escort drivers have been briefed not to stop at slip roads. Hang on, let me take a selfie. She's just standing there with her selfie. She's happy, she's got her photo with the big truck. That Scania looks beautiful though, doesn't it? Doesn't she just look beautiful? I think she looks beautiful. Anyway, let's skip the cinematics and let's get underway. I think we'll take off in second gear. Right, we're going left. One of the escort vehicles has gone right. Now, does that mean he's going to reverse? Now, I don't want to go too too close to the right-hand side. Because I am going to be swinging this baby this way. Soft turn. Then we'll swing out must remember that I have to drive on the left hand side of the road. Let's knock it up a couple of gears instead of one. And let's make sure we don't hit our mirror. Or this. Ooh. Or the sign. Oh my days. Let's just take up as much room as we can here. Making up this hell not too bad at all. We are going to be turning right here then. Look at that. Just powering up the hill with 45 tons on the back. Try and keep it over wide and then. I think we're okay. We're good. Speed limit's 30, 37 now. I don't want to get too close to him, and at the same time, I don't want to. Oi! Ay, 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 ay. So far, so good then, as we make our way on a single carriageway road. <laughs> I still can't believe what's happened earlier. It was really starting to annoy me when the, the escort vehicle was just stopping, and then you get the constant beep. Please keep the cargo between escort vehicles. Excuse me, please keep the cargo between escort vehicles. Hello, please keep the cargo between escort vehicles. Well, I'm trying to keep it between escort vehicles, but your escort vehicles have stopped in the middle of the road and they won't move forward. Whoa, I've pressed the wrong button and we're changing down a gear. Now, now I want to change down a gear, yeah. That V8 engine working very, very hard today. I should have enough room. Yeah, he's mo he's on that side. That's fine. We're good. We're looking good so far. Let's move a little bit over to the right because I don't want to wipe out the fence. Make sure there's nothing coming around this corner. You can't really see yet. There we go, we're okay. A change gear. A little winding road. I tell you, it's really good to see the escort vehicle still in front of me and not stop dead. <laughs> I don't know if I was maybe meant to just wait behind the first one or. I don't know. But the. The closer we got to the, the turn off. Just trying not to wipe out other trucks. 
now, how's parking this thing actually? So I've got the parking on realistic because some of the challenges are actually pretty good. Like practicing parking in this is a little bit like some of the challenging places you've got to fit big HGVs in real life. Certainly had a couple of tricky reverses uh, in the time that I've been driving. Obviously, like I said at the start of the video, nothing ever as big as this. Just your standard trailer. It's getting a little bit too close to the escort car there, I'm just going to back off a bit. Because we are going downhill. Using the retarder in conjunction with the brakes. Just to try and keep a handle on the speed going downhill. Switching it off again. Because I can imagine something like this, this heavy. Although then again it's 45 tons, like you can have a fully loaded Arctic at 44 tons. But then again the special transport aspect is the actual width of something like this. You're not just driving a 44 ton trailer on sort of normal standard roads, you're driving something that's over oversized by a long way widthwise. Using all the road. To be fair, this hasn't been too bad actually considering I was a little bit worried when I seen we're moving on a little sort of single carriageway. But we haven't taken anything out. We haven't hit anything. Things are going okay so far. The escort vehicle just moving out a little bit just to Get them to slow down. There's nothing coming, so we can just power up this hill. We're gonna have to change down a gear. Yes. And another one. Down to seventh. You can hear the turbo just constantly whistling, just working really, really hard. Okay, let's just try and... Yeah, you can see when the escort vehicle moves over, it sort of pushes the vehicles a little bit further over. That's alright, it's pulling. That was going to have to change down to 6th for a second there. Moving a little bit over to the left a bit too much there. I'm just going to cut this. Whoa, mister. There we go. A little bit tight here, isn't it? Jesus. These windy roads. I'm going to leave it in 7th for the moment. And then we will knock it back up in 8th once we get up and over this little hill. We are approaching our destination finally though. We're not too far away at all. Just gonna let the truck roll down the hill. Just gonna let the truck roll down the hill. Roll down the hill. Roll down the hill. I'm just gonna let the truck roll down the hill all day long. <laughs> oh let's have a little bit retarded, please. It's just a little bit. We are going to be turning right now. Luckily the kind fellows up ahead have organised a turning party for us. Hello there you beautiful people. No, don't stop. Keep going. I'm just going to start, a, start my turn now. And then swing her. Should be good. Are we good? I think we're good. We haven't smashed any windscreens, we're good. Yeah, I definitely think manual gearbox is the way to go just to get the maximum benefit. Obviously I did customise this truck with the... Uh, the Opt Opti Cruise box, which did have the two crawler gears which is coming in quite handy for this. But with obviously... The, the, having the one powered axle for these... Um, 
special transport jobs isn't isn't uh, isn't the way forward. So I've switched the configuration, which is working absolutely beautifully now. I have full faith that if I did have to stop on a hill, it would all be okay. And we would get going again. I'm just going to use all the roads here. Oh, the special transport car was moving over a little bit there. We're okay. We're okay. change gear I think we should be okay there yep just so almost in Birmingham then and it looks like our first second third fourth fifth attempt at a special transport journey is gonna end on a happy note I don't want to get too close to the vehicle the escort vehicle they get a little bit scared by the looks of things Making sure we're not getting too close. Chains lane manoeuvre is coming. So I'm just going to back off. I can't see the rear escort vehicle in my mirror yet. So I don't know if he has moved over. Still can't see him. But I'm just going to slow down behind this guy anyway. I don't want to get too close. If he does move over, he's stopping. Why is he stopped? Should I be in another lane? Let me put the handbrake on a second. Right, well, the escort vehicle behind. I need him to go. He's done it again. He stopped again. Is it because I'm not moving over quick enough? Right, let me see if he'll go forward now. I'm going to hit that van. Yeah, I hit the van. Okay. Right, load the checkpoint. That was probably the best thing I could have done, actually, by hitting the van. I think once it says change lane manoeuvre... Okay, it's loaded us in. Okay, right, let's try this. It was going smoothly. Until I messed it up. So I think what I need to do is move over. Right, okay, yeah. I should have moved over before, okay. It's all learning... It's all learning experiences. Now let me move over a bit so I don't clip any of these road signs. I just knew when I looked in the mirror that that's going to hit the escort vehicle. But we needed to load the checkpoint, which is good. Because now I understand things a bit better. So we will be hanging a right at the traffic light. Hey, hey another cheeky rhyme. We've got our little turning party here again. Oh, there's everybody. Hello there. Hello. Are you here to see? Oh, get your selfie. Hi, friend. Yes, good day to you, sir. And now we're going left. Hello, taking photos. Get my good side, please. Hey, hey. Swinging it round then. This big... Highly technical part. And we are almost at the final point. So here we go then. They change down gear or more of them. I wish I had an air horn equipped to the truck. Hello there. Because that sounds a bit pathetic, doesn't it? And we're going to be turning right. So there's our drop off point there then. Where are you going? Are you going ahead of me? Thank you for your help, sir. As we pull into our drop-off. Let's 
Let's just keep going forward, keep going forward, keep going forward. There we go. Cargo is ready for unloading. Now, before we unload it, let's take a look at it. There's our beautiful Scania then. Looks absolutely amazing. And our big trailer. Let's get it decoupled then. Not a big problem. The bigger the better. Size matters. Achievement. 392 XP. That's it. I've only got 392 XP. Tell you what though, that was a lot of fun. So as we switch off and wind down, that brings to an end this episode of 100% Trucking. Things didn't go to plan in the beginning, it was a little bit of a disaster. But my first look at the Special Transport DLC, which is available on Steam for only £3.99, brings a really nice aspect to the game, massive learning experience and a lot of fun doing so, even if a little bit frustrating at times. But I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, consider giving it a cheeky little thumbs up. But until the next time, please do take care, stay safe and all that good stuff. And I will catch you all next time, but until then, this is Liquid, signing off.